What's going on guys? Crypto Chris back with another cryptocurrency video and in this video is going to be a little bit different to the videos that you're currently used to from me doing. So this video is going to be covering the highly requested topic of how to use the Binance Exchange and more specifically how to use the new derivatives platform of the futures but before i jump in this video guys don't forget to follow me on my free telegram page guys i give all my up-to-date trades analysis and latest cryptocurrency news guys also if you enjoyed this video give it a like subscribe if you want to and leave a comment in the comment section so first of all this uh, Binance exchange is one of the world's leading exchange guys. It's a very straightforward platform to use. Once you get used to using it guys, it will make a lot more sense once I walk you through this. It is uh, one of the exchanges that has the most volume, has the most liquidity. So I highly, highly recommend it. This is not a Binance review. This is not a, a paid sponsorship or anything like that. This is just the platform that you mostly you guys use and you just want to learn how to use it. So the first thing that you have to do is obviously open a Binance account. Once you open a Binance account, you're good to go. If you want to save a little bit on your fees uh, trading, I have a referral in the description, guys. If you use it, it saves you 10% off your trading fees. It's totally up to you if you guys want to use it. So once you've opened it, the first thing you want to do is buy USDT. Tether is a stable coin. The reason being on the derivatives platform of futures, the trading, the only trading pay you can trade against, um, obviously with cryptocurrencies, is USDT. So Binance have made it really easy to buy USDT. You don't really need to send a crypto from another wallet to your Binance wallet. They've made it easy to buy just simply by using a credit card. But also, again, you can deposit just by transferring. But just to make it a lot more simpler, all you do is enter the amount that you want. You choose your native currency where you're from and you select you want to buy USDT. Once you select the amount of USDT, then that's it. The USDT will be transferred straight to your spot wallet. Next up, the next thing you need to do is open a, deriv a derivatives uh, account, more specifically the futures account. So. Once you've clicked on it, this is the interface that you will be greeted with. And it will say to open a futures account. Just a little disclaimer here, guys. Trading um, futures, trade anything with leverage, uh, as much as the profits are really good, so is the risk, guys. If you're a total beginner, I would... I would recommend staying away from trading with margin or leverage, etc., guys, because it's a e very, very easy way and a very quick way to lose a lot of money very, very fast. However, if you've been trading for a while and you just want to earn some more money and you're used to trading, especially cryptocurrency, then guys, just follow this video. I just want to make it simple for you guys how to use it, guys. So obviously, trade out your own risk, guys, and this is not financial advice. So the first thing you want to do is going to say open futures account and you can enter a referral code. So once you open a referral code, you can use my referral code, guys. Uh, again, it saves you 10% off the fees that um, comes with trading uh, futures and trust me these 10 percent fees add up especially if you're trading quite frequently so what you're going to do is open now and that's it guys and now your futures uh, account is now live so first of all I just want to bring your attention to the different trading pairs you can trade against um, usdt so again obviously obviously you have btc usdt ethereum bitcoin cash xrp eos litecoin also you have the highly highly popular Chainlink and tezos and many other pairs so go and check them out guys for any pairs that you might be wondering if they are tradable on the futures as far as i know you have a, a wide wide selection of usdt pairs to trade against of cryptos so that is why this is one of beginning to be one of the most popular platforms so first thing you want to do guys is you want to set your leverage the amount of margin you want to be using 
So here, for example, it gives you on 20x, you can use up to 125x on BTC, but that will be absolutely suicidal, guys. So you're talking about a 0.75% change in price to get you liquidated. Liquidated mean if uh, the trade goes against you, you'll be liquidated out of your position and you'll lose money very, very fast and very, very quick. But once again, guys, if you're new to trading, guys, I would stay away from uh, leverage or margin or any type of futures account, BitMEX, etc. Guys, it is a very easy way to lose a lot of money very quickly, like I said. So if you're a more seasoned trader and you're looking to use a different platform for your, fu for your futures uh, trading, more leverage trading, and you want to use Binance, this is why I'm doing this video, guys. So example for this video, I'm going to use a 20x confirm it the next option you've got is a cross leverage or isolated cross leverage it will use your total uh, margin you've got in your account so if you go down over 100 percent it will it will start using a margin in your account um, to keep that position open if you use isolated once you hit a minus 100 uh, percent of your trade it will automatically close your account so you select which one you prefer for the sake of this video I'm going to keep it as cross so next thing we want to do is choose the pair we want to trade with so we click on this uh, this arrow here and it gives us the trading pairs again for the sake of this video I'm going to be doing BTC USDT and I'm going to be open a long position meaning a buy position and as you can see here guys we've got $8.94 which is the total amount I have got in the futures account to trade with so we want to go to uh, limit so when you set limit you set the price that you want to get into uh, at the current price you want to get into you can go either when the price is lower or higher that's totally up to you if you want to get into trading as soon as possible you would select a market order however sometimes you don't get the uh, right great price and you can be set start the trade at a five to ten percent loss or maybe more or maybe less it depends on what price you get into Again, for the sake of this video, I'm going to be saying a limit order. So we'll look at the price where it's currently at. It's around about 9,480. 9, so for the sake of this video, I'm going to do 9,480. And here we set our amount here. So you use this toggle here. So we come here. So that's 25% off the position. The first one, again, the second one is 50% of our total amount we've got in our wallet. 75% and 100% so again for this video I'm going to go for 50% of my total amount I've got in my wallet which is $4.26 and it's comes to 0 0.009 BTC so I'm going to place a long and if I click on this scroll down you can see that the position has now been filled so this was my entry price this is the current price and this is my liquidation price guys with the, the leverage here so close position here guys if you really wanted to get out this position as soon as possible you can hit a market close but again you won't get the price that you want to guys and you might come out with less money than what it says at your P&L so first of all what you want to do guys is set your stop loss so all we do come here, we come to the stop limit and we select stop market. So in here, so what you're going to have to do, because we place a buy order, we're going to have to put a sell order for every buy you're in. You have to sell to come out that position. So again, we're going to put our price here. So we got in at 9,479 dollars. Say I want to get out at roughly $10,000. And again, I'm going to want to sell my own position because that's the amount I want to get into. So again, we we'll select stock market. This will get out my whole position. However, if you want to get out a percentage of your position, again, as we set the buy order, you can get out 25% of your position, 50% of your position, 75% or 100% for, again, for the sake of this, I want to get out of this trade once we hit $10,000. So I'm going to sell a short. And then as you can see here, I've got now an open order. 
as a take profit market. So guys, if we hit $10,000, if I, if I hit $10,000, this will get me out of the market in profit. So next thing we'll do, we want to set a stop loss. So again, we'll go to stop market. And now we're going to set our price that if price falls to, we're going to want to get out of this trade. So if it's 9,200, And again, I want to get out of this position 100%. Again, we sell short. Order's been submitted. And as you can see now, we have a stock market. So it will sell my position if we hit 9,200. And again, we have a take profit market if we hit 10,000. And that is a BTC long position with your take profit and with your stock market. Again, to work out your PL guys, and when you want to get in and out, they've got a handy calculator here. So where you put your long or short position, you put your entry price, your exit price, the amount of BTC you got, and it will give an example of how much your initial margin is, your PL, and your return on investment, guys, and how much profit you'd come out if you come out then prices, guys. So again, I'll you make sure you use this calculator to work out your PL. So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna cancel these trades. I just want to show you the opposite of how when you put a short trade on. So I've got position, and again, I want to get out of this as soon as possible. So I'm going to just market close this at this price. And again, so we've got uh, an amount back now. So again, so I'm going to want to put a short position on BTC USDT. Again, you select your leverage, what leverage you want, guys, depending on your appetite for risk. You select if you want cross or isolated. And then you want to set your trigger price. So again, I want to, so the we're roughly about 9,488. So again, I'm going to put 9,488. Don't forget to switch it back to limit. So 9,488. I'm going to, again, I'm going to select 50% of the total amount I have in my futures wallet. And this time I'm going to sell, put a sell order, so a short. So as price goes down, I'm going to be making some profit. So we've pressed sell short now. And once again, our order has now been filled. As you can see, the size is in minus because I'm wanting the price to go down to start making money. So first of all, we're going to want to take our stop, uh, take our take profit or put a stop loss so again we go to st select stop market and again because if the price goes up that will be going against us so we got in at 9491 so if it goes to 9600 select the total amount to get up. so if price does go up to 9600 i've selected for 100 percent of my position to get out and because we put a sell order guys we're going to have to go obviously the opposite so if you go for a buy you put in a sell if you go for a sell then you have to put a buy because you have to buy back this position that you're currently selling so press buy again as you can see in the open orders we now have stock market buy and, and the trigger price will be the last price when it hits 9,600. And once again, if we're going to put a, a take profit, so if price goes to 9,200, we want to sell up all our position and take all our profit again you work this out you toggle between long and short you put it in the calculator of your entry your exit and the amount of quality and it works out all your pnl and how much you'll be coming out with guys so i can't um emphasize enough how paramount this is of how to use the calculator to work out your profit and loss so again so 9200 100 of our position and then we're going to go for a buy long we scroll down as you can see the open orders will now have a take profit market and the last price will be 9200 so if we get down to that price it will close my position and again if we end up in a loss 9600 it will now exit my position so hope this makes uh, more sense guys of how to use the platform it is very very simple once you once you there's a lot more other things you can you can use with your stop limits with your stop markets etc guys but i've just done it in very very lame so made it very simple of how to make the person that's new to the platform of how to currently 
uh, use it guys so once again uh, if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up uh, subscribe if you enjoyed this video follow me on telegram if you don't already to get all my up-to-date trades and analysis guys and guys if you want the discounts uh, on the platform referral referral uh, links are in the description and i'll see you guys on the next one crypto chris over and out